everybody. Today's story is all about a bear and the title of the book is Hugless Douglas. Let's find out what happens. One spring morning a big yawn came from the back of a deep dark cave. It was a young brown bear and his name was Douglas. I need a hug, said Douglas. So he wriggled out of his pyjamas and he brushed his hair. He put on a scarf and went to look for one. My best hugs are big, thought Douglas. So he went up to the biggest thing he could find. He wrapped his arms all the way around it and he gave it a squeeze. It didn't feel quite right. Ow! grunted Douglas. It's a bit too heavy. Ow! My best hugs are tall, thought Douglas. So he went up to the tallest thing he could find. He hugged the bottom, he hugged around the middle, and he hugged as high as he could reach. But it was all wrong, and he had to my best hugs are comfy, thought Douglas, and he trotted towards a cosy looking bush. He cuddled the bush, but something very odd, the leaves quivered and trembled and ran away. Give us a hug! cried Douglas. No, barred the sheep. We're too busy. He scooped up armfuls anyway and he tried to cuddle them gently but they kicked and squirmed and they didn't like it at all. Poor Douglas. Why can't I find a hug? He said. If I want a hug, said a wise owl, I sit in my tree and... Let me try, whooped Douglas, and he scrambled up next to the owl. But soon he found himself in a clumsy muddle. To whoop, to whoop, said the owl, hotly. I only wanted a hug, sniffed Douglas. Perhaps there's one down here. He felt something long-eared and rabbity and gave it a hug. Douglas could tell the rabbit didn't want a hug. He sniffed again and without thinking, wiped his nose on the fluffy end. Oh, excuse me! shouted the rabbit, put me down! But I need a hug, said Douglas, and I can't find one anywhere. Oh, I see, said the rabbit kindly. Come with me. And he took Douglas by the paw and led him round and round. At last they came to a deep dark cave where a sleepy someone was just waking up. Yawn! Ooh, who could it be? Douglas peeped inside. He had the funniest feeling that he knew the someone very well. Hook! asked Douglas and he ran as fast as he could towards his mum. Come to think of it, my best hugs are from someone I love, said Douglas, and he snuggled into the biggest, warmest arms he knew. These pages show different types of hugs. A sandwich hug, a good night hug, an upside down hug, a don't let go hug, a falling hug, a sly hug, a group hug, a back to front hug, a shh hug, a tummy hug, oh sorry, a tummy hug, a daisy chain hug, a big hug, a come and get it hug. Lots of ways of having a hug. And as I was reading that story, my dog tag came for a hug too. 
I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.